man. I don't want to leave. Like, I'm already hurt. Welcome to yet another funky, fresh episode of The Friends I Keep. My name is Sanela Lufuana, and as you know, it's a brand. And the am the to man, the no msaki. Listen, dude, you're starting to feel like a regular, a resident in this Nairobi. How long have you been here? <laughs> I'm even like today I ran into someone while I was getting a COVID test because uh -huh. I'm leaving tomorrow. And I'm like, aren't you print? Like I know, like I ran into you. I'm seeing people three times. Yeah. You know, I yeah, I've really, I've, I feel like it's becoming a small town. I've mm -hmm. been here for two weeks. Is that weird? Two weeks is a long time. Yes. Nairobi is very small as yeah, we yeah. all know as regulars. For sure. um, so when you left South Africa, it's been like, Creatively for you, I can imagine it's been like a struggle. How did, what was the transition for you from South Africa to Kenya? Well, the first thing I did was I watched the live show because I've been needing one for my spirit. And I, I watched an incredible show. Mm. And, I, and I came across, um, is it Tarab music? Mm -hmm. Tarab from the coast, yeah? Mm. From like Mombasa, from Tanzania. Yeah. From, yeah, it's just a, an incredible genre of music that just made me come alive. I saw a band, like a big band, nice. which I haven't seen in a long time in South Africa because we're having to keep our productions small and manageable sure. because everything has gone down. We've been mm. paid half for things. Mm. So everything has gone smaller. So to see a band of seven people, to see many instruments, to see lots of people singing, I was just like, you know, my heart needed this. And it yeah. also made me like a little bit sad for, you know, the people at home that I know are just missing live music, mm. are, are missing being in that vibe, yeah. Well, we're happy to have you here. Thank you. Especially me. <laughs> That's right, Jenny. Well, I did tell you that we're doing things a little differently this time around. The friends I keep and other friends I'm about to keep are joining us today. Look at them. Can I get some? Uh, hey. <laughs> Audience, <laughs> can I? You cannot be sleeping. Aww. You are not sleeping. Stop. Stop that. Karibuni, Karibuni. Thank you for joining Karibuni. us today. To feel a little hot in here, as you know, we are appropriately situated by the balcony bar. Shall we get a drink? Of course. Asan. Yeah. My way. You? That means that means I'm thirsty and toss up. Alrighty then. So, first off, what do you want? Wine? No, I'm good with the wine. Just, what do you want? Do you want to pop something? It just gives me land cravings. <laughs> <laughs> makes me think of a Stella Motion. I'm like, how I'd like to <laughs> do. <laughs> Yo, bring back the land, guys. Bring back the land. I'll have, you know what I'll have? I'll have a gin and... Um, a I gin and I usually tonic? like gin and ginger ale with a bit of tonic. So maybe gin with some tonic and something sweet. Um, a lot of us know you for this gorgeous voice that you have. Thank you so much. But your first passion. Oh, you guys. Splash, splash, hello. Your first passion, your number one passion is songwriting. I really love songwriting. Um, it's just because I do it almost daily, mm -hmm. and I don't really judge what I'm writing. It's yeah. a kind of a, a process. It's a way of meditating. It's kind of a way to wake up in the morning. And, mm. and the fact that I get to like turn it into something that can actually it goes around like it saves me and then it supports me as well yeah. it's like what when this is a little bit yeah. you know it's a lot so i have a lot of respect for it as a craft and it's my first love yeah it really is like the the, the performance was an accidental thing i wasn't really planning on like mm. being on stage and in front of people and and singing which is why i'm a bit like i'm a little bit awkward on stage but i'm learning how to inhabit my body a bit more mm -hmm. and understand how I take up space. Mm -hmm. It's taking a little bit of effort because it's not natural, but yeah, the songwriting is like 100% natural. Yeah. Okay, so, I, <laughs> so you don't like the spotlight much, huh? Look, you're I, gonna wouldn't, need this. I wouldn't. <laughs> you're going to need a lot of that. <laughs> I wouldn't. I'm kind of understanding the responsibility that it comes with, but sure. I'm not, I don't think liking it is a word that I can use mm. anytime soon. <laughs> but the people who but love yeah. you want to see you on stage. I, you know, I'm starting to respect that and it's mm. really helping me put things into perspective. Like yeah. I'll walk off stage thinking, oh man, I forgot that. And, and like someone would have, just, would have just had a transcendent experience that mm. completely humbles mm. whatever small things that I'm busy nitpicking in the background. So yeah. I, I'm grateful for that meeting point mm -hmm. of just understanding that there was something to give and people received it and what I think about how it went isn't important. Of course. I've done like, my, I've served the moment. Yeah, you know? cheers so to that. Cheers. Thank Friend, you. I want to ask you about Intulam. Am I allowed? <laughs> Please tell me what <laughs> it's in Intulam as in like a giraffe. Intulam, the song. 
Can I ask you about that? Yeah. Yes, please. Okay, so I'm obsessed with giraffes, guys. Obsessed. Oh, yeah. Crazy. And then I find out when I meet her for the first time that uh, she <laughs> just recorded a song, a lullaby, with her two kids, too, yeah? Yeah, but... And they're so young. They're really small. Oh. But, but it's my six-year-old who's, like, a songwriter, an accomplished songwriter by now. She's oh, like, wow. I'm writing a song. Please don't disturb me. Mom, I do, you know? <laughs> so... Um, I took her to the studio for yeah. the first time, like to actually record seriously. But I've got like a thousand of her voice of her voice notes about unicorns and Aww. loving her family. Precious. And How old is she? She wrote a song about electricity the other day. Escom. No, like not the frustration of oh. not having electricity, <laughs> but like she was like electricity. <laughs> Going through the pipes, making things. I was like, what are okay. you? Okay. You know, for me, I was like, okay, she gets the concept of electricity. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That's my girl. I obviously don't because I couldn't repeat what she said. No, it's because you're traumatized. It's trauma. I understand. Guys, for context, uh, you guys know <laughs> ESCOM is our provider of electricity in South Africa. It is always twerking, but let's leave it. <laughs> KPLC let's does the same thing. KPLC does the same thing. Look, we understand one another. Um, so you recorded the song. Uh, how old is she again? She's six, six. And she really has like a love for giraffes for some reason. All of a sudden, unicorns are taking a backseat. But I was writing a lullaby where I'm putting her to bed. Mm. And she was sort of putting her like imaginary friend slash stuffed animal toy giraffe to bed. So It's a movie, it guys. It ended up being like, I'm <laughs> singing her to bed. She, she's singing her stuffed animal to bed. And <laughs> I'm singing both of them to bed. Oh, was, that's beautiful. Yeah, I can't wait to share the lullaby with you. Like, I want to make a lot more stuff for kids. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, and I think I'm, I'm in a really healthy group of friends that, yes. that, want, that have the same collective goal. We just need, like, we need this content. We need to fight against, you know, Peppa Pig and mm, the Sophia, friends you keep, man. all of those. The friends you keep, Chime. Yeah. Don't be scared to use the hashtag. Use it. <laughs> Oh, well, so now there are a few people who saw you last Saturday at our event, uh, Two Grapes. Yeah, that was really cool. But uh, there are several others that I've invited so that they can experience the intimacy, the love, the preciousness that is Um Sanki. Shall we give them a taste? This is my favorite way to perform, just in case you didn't know. Like, I would do this over and over. Oh. So, yeah, thanks, guys. So, shall I here. take your passport then? You're not leaving tomorrow. I. <laughs> <laughs> Take my hand 
can now It's just kilometers of sky, you see Between you and I, our dreams are folding Into God's wishes Last plans for you and I And maybe we'll be reconciled Living water for the war over your heart Waterfall Living water for the war over your heart, waterfall. Zero deligas in Donga, living water for the war over your heart, waterfall. Maguliwe, living water for the war over your heart, waterfall. Or a blessing to the future in the present. True. Could have not put it better myself. Wow! What a time to be alive. Yeah.